Satellite coming down in three, two, one. Here we go. This is the final week of the BF2 Conquest League winter season. Uh, this is the one of the weeks, uh, one of the matches for the week. This is uh, the mixed team from South America versus Oldies. The two maps today are two of the best in the pool. This is first map, Strike of Karkand. Second map will be Fushi Pass, known for some great games. I'll be following the mixed team on the U.S. side attacking on Karkand. Each Karkand is, of course, a Conquest Assault map. U.S. side gets uh, 20 bonus tickets. One Jeep, one LAV, and one tank. Defending mech team does only get one tank. And as we watch, we see Savaros on the far west side of the map on the main road. Tomix on the right. Hand grenade! Wait, whoa! Where did Tomix even launch that hand grenade at and got a triple kill right off the bat? Crazy off the beginning. Drawing first blood. Tomix and Bacane. Defending the market, but Kane will go down to Squid, Blaine, and Peaky. Squid finds that double kill. He finally clears out Tomix. First map on the or first flag on the map is the uh, hotel flag, and this will be the first objective of Mix, helping to stop that bleed right off the bat. Savaros so in the carefully placed Vodnik, looking over the fence as the first artillery will fall. Santi will kill. The Vodnik with Sra. Lane on flag radius. And we have the tank. Looks like our ringer for the for the round. M. Something in for uh somebody from Oldies, so we have like of course one of the best tankers in the league on Oldies team right now. Normally for existence playing. Successful defense of the hotel flag right off the bat. Wonka in the Abrams for uh, Mix. Rocking back and forth that side alley. As Santi and Marco is trying to push up the far left side. That back alley where M is just watching it so precisely. But Kane with another triple hand grenade kill. As the tickets. Starting to even away and even out, even out and whittle away the uh, early game advantage given to the attackers. M still watching that back alley. Savaros with double crates here, looking for more ammo. Also, M can use it to resupply and rearm. Iki, Rezon Blaine. Maybe they're gonna go for the flag. One on the ladder, two on the ladder, maybe not the best. Gets Sraw to the face, can Savaro make it a double? Tomix with a... well, I guess he'll get that kill anyway. TK's Johnny. Johnny in the process. Tiki left out alone, Tomix will pick up a triple kill. So far... Mix unable to neutralize any flag at all as the artil artillery will fall for both teams oldie's gonna drop it in the cluster of buildings in front of the hotel meanwhile yeah just pushing forward vodnik drop inside the alleyway elton gets flanked by Elofont. Gonna get rezzed by Blaine. Oh my goodness. M already up at four kills. Elofont with nine. If you look at the scoreboard for oldies. Blaine with six kills, leading for for Mix. I keep I always want to say AR-15, because it Mix is a literally a mix of South American teams and players. Heroes, AR-15, and maybe maybe another one that I don't remember. I always want to call them by their tags. M and Elofont in the Vodnik, in the tank, respectively. Or 
scratch that. Alternatively, definitely the wrong order there. Blaine on flag along with uh, Elton and Squid. Flag is neutralized. Flag is captured. Hand grenade from Johnny on this from, uh, well, gets a double kill onto Squid and Blaine. Elephant on flag as well. That flag is going to go back to being neutralized. Can Wonka get in the flag radius? Now he's going to shoot into it instead. That's still not going to be able to get the kill on the Johnny. He's looking in the wrong direction. No further, no pushes to the back of the marketplace. No other Humvee. There's a, there also hasn't been a Humvee uh, or an APC dive to the right. Maybe they just assume that Oldies is too good for that. Lane 1v3 gets one kill. The hand grenades on the from Tomix will TK Johnny. Nobody left alive in flag radius. As the APC is going to try to get on the radius, but that's he's going to get domed by M plus the respawning AT of Savaros. A lot of mix on hotel. That is the fast, that's incredibly fast cap. What happens when you throw everybody on it and fight from the gray squid with a shock paddle kill on Tomix? M's going to eat a rocket. The flag, the flag is finally taken, and it looks like it's pretty secure this time around. So the bleed will be stopped against uh, Mix uh, six minutes into round number one of Karkand. Tickets 140 to 159. Oldies in the lead by about 20 tickets. And they're regrouping now. Four down the main road, three down the main road, two down the alleyway, and Nubalot on the back right road. Squid will get one kill, double kill, triple kill. Can he get another? Elton's there as well. Did they just... Wow, they wiped out all of Oldies as they were filtering through the alleyway. That is fantastic. And I think M also went down. Yep. So the mech tank also went down. Johnny just surviving somehow up that tank shell. And we have a jeep coming around. As it's going to be peaky. Squid will respawn. There's going to be a push from uh, from Mix onto the market flag. Elephant's aware of it. M knows as well. He's going to come back to help defend. Peaky on the roof goes for the back. Can he get there in time? He's safe to be the squad leader. Elton got a shot into M the tank. And Peaky still alive in the back. Meanwhile, uh, Oldie is pushing for the hotel flag. Is there anybody there? Yeah, there's about to be. Johnny's gonna jump and flag. McCain's there. Nubalot's there. Artillery lands dead on on the squad leader. But can they get Johnny? Santi with a TK. And Johnny will die to the, to the APC. So big artillery play from Mix. What's going on behind the marketplace? Blaine's still alive. Gets the res on Peaky, the squad leader. M and Nubalot still there. M eating double rockets, he's gonna go down. That'll be a tank steal attempt, potentially, in about 20 seconds. Peaky, doing a great job as squad leader, staying alive. Meanwhile, the tank for Mix gonna push into the square as the APC defends hotel. Here we go. Tank steal attempt. Squid is in the area. It'll be up in about five seconds. Peaky now real re rezzed. M going for the going for the tank. It's there. Squid, pay attention. No! They miss it by a hair. Elton with C4 gets the suicide on it. Amazing play by Elton to, uh, with the instinct to play as uh, uh, Spec Ops right there. And holy crap, that was close. Squid could have had the tank steal. Peaky still alive. They're going to give up the squad lead to uh, the team on the players on the square. And Pablo Franco and the APC will be shut down at the square. Oh, squad has been re-given to Peaky. As he gets noob-tubed by Bacane. Can there be a dive on the res? There is. M now back alive in the tank. Elton will miss the rocket shot. Peaky again on his own. I think he's going to go down here. He will go down. 
So, after all that and the back flag push, Oldies continue to hold the square. They continue to hold the market, and now they have three players on the hotel flag, and this is going to be a recap. Oh, maybe not. A good double hand grenade kill from Squid will save the flag for them. Tickets 112 to 125 as we hit the, uh, fifth, the halfway mark in round number one. Artillery from Oldie's going to hit the hotel. So far, coming up nothing. The tank and APC hanging together, Wonka and uh, Pablo Franco. Elofont tried to predict a straw through the, through the crack in the square, but... Tomix! Oh my god. Good was too busy reloading, but Tomix almost got spawn camped. And the battle for that alleyway uh, between Hotel and Square. Pablo Franco. Yeah, he thought he was dead there. Nice double kill there. Artillery landing from Oldies. Does it get a lucky hit? So far, nothing. That was a big miss there from... Uh... Wait, that was an Oldies. Wait. No, that was a... That wasn't an oldies artillery. That's the oldies artillery. That was a uh, mix artillery practically on their own team that they managed to cap that, fr that flag under. Very, very lucky. So, we got stuff going on all over the place. There is one player, Marcos, on the market flag. He has not been spotted. Hotel flag has gone back. Ooh, nice straw. Squid will get the revive, but there's no medics in the area. Now Elton is here. They lost the squad lead. Can the market flag go? This would be huge. That flag is going to go gray. Emma's going to show up in time. As uh, Bacane almost gets road killed. Yeah, there's, there's neutral flags all over the place. Oldies with the artillery. Or not oldies. Mix with the artillery. Nice kill from Blaine. And gets artilleried. Direct hit on the tank. That is big right now for Mix. Peaky knows that if he can get a grenade on the Bacane here in Elofont, this would be huge. Stop this counter camps. Prevent them from getting a, a, a tank again. Hand grenades down, but they're going to get market back. But Kane is there, and he'll get the flag cap. Mi Mix has just gone back and forth with the square flag. Two seconds ago, I got recapped, and now I got recapped by Mix again. Hotel flag gets recaptured by Mix. Oldies have finally lost all control south of the uh, the market flag. Wonka with a kill under the staircase sends uh, Johnny flying. And suddenly Mix with a dead even score. But remember, there's no bleed. There is no bleed on Conquest Assault even if you own two out of three flags. You, it's, it's, it's all or nothing in Conquest Assault BF2. Pull up the cane. No staircase to go up. Gonna knife fight it out. No, Blaine. Knife fight? No. He's gonna... <laughs> no gentleman's agreement there. Six and a half minutes left in round number one, and we have a very, very good matchup between Mix and Oldies today. APC coming down the main road as the tank is repairing. M on the high ground by the archway. Artillery from Med will take out Blaine. That is not the squad leader. There should be a squad leader somewhere down here. There he is. It's Marcos. Savaros going to push in. Squid will respawn there as well. Sra attempt on Totomix. The second one will hit. That'll, that'll put the Vodnik on fire. Alright, so... 
Mix has some decisions to make. They could take the high ground, farm it out, go for a fairly even game, or they could go for the all cap. And I think the all cap is the better way to go. You know, they've got the momentum right now. And they took a long time before they uh, managed to cap a flag. So that bleed really hit, hit into effect. I think what they should be doing right now is aiming for that tank steal. Savaros almost single-handedly. Oh no, Elephant's there. Capping this uh, square flag. Peaky just... Oh my god, Elephant, you're a friggin'... Old answer there, just avoiding everything in the Matrix. Double artillery's landing. So far, Med coming up with double kills and one TK. Square's gonna get recapped by Mix. And we're back into that same situation. As Oldie's gonna push the left side staircase and the main ramp around the square, but first they have to go through the APC! He's just gonna barrel through and die. The paper thin APCs. Squid just got a triple kill on Savaros. Can he get a third or a fourth? No. But the tank is there. That should be an easy defense. Tomix is in the gopher hole. Shot from Santi on the rooftop, but Tomix trades a straw with him. Good shot. If I was Pablo Franco in the APC, instead of going to the square, I would I would have gone all the way around. I would be pushing like this alleyway here up on the high ground, which is uh, over here, and allowing your team to jump down onto the market and also forcing the tank to come up here right now. Just like what Marcos did, except, you know, if you've got the APC plus an AT... You are more than a match for that tank. That should be the goal for... Mix. But oldies. One, two, three. Four players around the square. Squid throws a grenade. So far he only gets one. People come around. He'll get two on Nubalot and Elo Thomp, but it's not going to be enough to hold the flag. Artillery will land. We need a really good RNG artillery to land on this directly. And it's going to happen. As I, as it normally practically hits the camera, but that last shot will connect right under the market or to the square bleh, hotel flag. Words, words are hard. Comics gonna rush his way there. Market was flag. Market flag was capped. There's no other flag. It's just the market, and it's just Tomix. And a hand grenade from Squid is gonna end it. There was a market cap, with two minutes left on the clock. It's a it's a mix victory in round number one. 62 tickets to zero. A fantastic round number one. So I'm going to assume that market was just largely undefended as that five man squad bomb spawned in the market or in the hotel flag and squid with the double kill plus the artillery coming down, just pretty much ended it because there was nobody on a market left to defend. What a fantastic round number one. Not live being called. I need to swap teams and go back to oldies. There we go. Not live. Definitely not live. There we go. Now we're here. Here we go. Sale. Wait. Wait what? Oh, we lost somebody.
Too bad we never got a true sequel to Battlefield 2. Uh... I have a lot to say on that topic. 20 seconds on the clock. Good luck, have fun being called. We are finally live in round number two. If you're just joining us. Oldies took, or Fula Mix took round number one with a cap out with 62 tickets left on the attacking side. We have swapped teams. Oldies now attacking on the U.S. side against the defending Mech. Mix team. M with a good flag. Good spot on the tank anyway. APC. Noob a lot with a really delayed thing. Thank you, clearly. Alright. What can oldies do? Oldies pushing up the right side alleyway. This is not nice. Grenade from Comix, which draw first blood. Richie said, she says his wife is pregnant, which is why he's not playing in the match today for AR-15. Wishing you and your wife the best, Richie. Squid with a double hand grenade killing Atomix and Elofont. Med with a nice artillery. Onto Squid, Pablo, Franco, and Elton. I don't even know where that was directed. Uh, right now, Oldies pushing. Um, they've got a Jeep going around to market. They've got somebody around the hotel, or not the hotel, the suburbs. Getting srod from behind from Tomix. Hotel has one player pushing it. Elephant's on the flag. Tank and APC on that left alleyway, the left left road. Elofont might gray this flag. This is much faster of a gray than what we saw from uh, Mix right off the bat. And there's still an oldies push going towards market. This could be huge. Squid is here. Can Squid shut down... A Kane and Johnny. There's one kill. Johnny with the revive. Johnny will not be able to take him out. Squid with a double kill. Triple kill, technically. Wipes the back line push. Nice play from Squid. Elofont. Up on the high ground around the hotel flag. Finds a double kill onto Elton and Peaky. Meanwhile, the tank and the APC pushing forward. The bleed has been stopped for oldies. Artillery is going to land from Med, but it's going to be a TK onto Tomix. I'm not quite sure where that artillery was headed. Uh, yeah, that was a weird artillery, considering it was nowhere near any enemies. Hotel Flag does have some players for or for Mix around it. But it looks like they're in the alleyway, and Tomix and Akane are doing a good job <coughs> clearing that up. Lane with a rocket onto M. Gonna shut down the oldies tank for the time being. From uh, Savaros into the back of Elton. Taking a look at the map right now, we have a nice long line of oldies players. Five strong pushing into square. Potentially trying to swing around that back alley. New tank up for Wonka, I'm sure... The tank and APC. For oldies, gonna push forward as well. Lane with a double kill. And the Safaros and Johnny. Yellowfont there, pushing almost solo. Tomix dives into the square as well. Nothing's going to happen. There's somebody over here? No. And the majority of the team right now 
for oldies, just kind of stuck in the alleyway and just getting kind of meat grindered through this tight choke point. Elton going to fight the squad leader Elofont and Elofont will come out on top with that AK with that picked up AK 101. More squad squad bombs coming in. Where is this Vodnik going? Nowhere, says M. Push down into square right now. But there's way too much mix for that push to be successful. M trying to do some damage. Wonka will get the kill on the Nubalot in the APC and forcing M to return back to that side road. Wow, he's actually hiding under arches. That's kind of a that's a desperate place because that's really difficult to get out of. You can get locked on that uh, dumpster in there really easily. Taking a look behind the scenes, Oldies now is a squad leader pushing behind the market. Savaros and Bacain. I think there was at least one shot into Wonka in the tank. New supply crate coming down for him, but they're going to go around behind. Square has been captured for Oldies. Squid putting another shot in the tank, but... Not before the flag gets captured. Tickets 179 to 158 in favor of oldies right now. Once again, a much earlier capture of the hotel flag for, for oldies than it was for Mix. A nice hand grenade kill there. Marcos might be the team's saving grace, but uh, there was somebody here. Santi with a double... Uh, artillery kill on Totomix and Savaros. And the tank for Mix is safe. But Oldies continuing to jump in from that high ground position, which is exactly, you know, right where I was saying last round to drop the APC, but... Artillery coming in from Oldies onto the market flag. Nobody home to hit. Meanwhile, the hotel flag has been picked up again. By mix. Not that that matters for the bleed or anything. Piggy. Gonna trade pretty much with Savaros. Holy double hand grenade kill from uh, Elephant. That was almost really close. Uh, Elephant, that double hand grenade kill plus the straw from Johnny, I think, pretty much defended the square flag. From that mix push, it was like a three or four man push there. Elephant back on the hotel flag. And there is continuing to be pressure from the rooftop of the marketplace from Tomix, Bacane, and Savaros. Blaine will get up on top. It doesn't even matter how Blaine will get DK'd, but that's okay. Pablo Franco with the double hand grenade killing the Tomix and Savaros will end that pressure. Or not, as the APC. From Nubalot, gonna swing in that back gate. Oh, are you gonna get caught out of bounds? <gasps> He's out of the APC. Oh no. He's out of the APC because he couldn't it's it's technically out of bounds right now. He missed the hit. He was about to die out of bounds, and so he bailed out just to survive, and he bailed and he lost the APC! A stolen APC for Mix as Pablo Franco is like, yes please, I'll take that. That's a big misplay from Oldies. Wonka just has that land on him and blows that crate up. Now, not that that's a huge deal because, uh, I mean, it's not the end of the world for, for, for Oldies. Two rockets into that APC and it's toast, so... It's not like you're losing a Battlefield 3 APC or anything. Nubalot. Almost making it to the Commander UAV trailer. But now... I mean, look at the positioning of Pablo Franco. He's up on top of the market. Savaros misses it, hits the tree instead. 
Wonka kills M in a mano a mano tank fight, so both tanks currently down. And yeah, once raw, you know, Pablo Franco's like, he's being so careful. He's gonna lose it. What were they just saying? Two straws, three straws. One player takes out the LAB and it goes back the way of oldies. Midway through round number two, 10 minutes on the clock. Tickets 147 to 128 in favor of oldies. No ticket bleed at all. As oldies will continue to pressure the market. Where are you going? That is the sickest out-of-bounds play I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen a Vodnik up, go up the right. I've never seen that in... What is this? 18 years of BF2, I've never seen a reverse out-of-bounds up that side to get to the hotel flag. That is disgustingly cool. You always see it go down this way, but you never see it come come up to the hotel. Marcos now playing uh, chicken with the APC, waiting for his opportunity to become the squad leader. The majority of Mix now pushing into the hotel flag up the ramp. Oh, who's in the jeep? It's Blaine. He's gonna get KO'd by the APC in a second. Artillery landing from oldies on top of the point they already have. Comic's gonna be the recipient of that that friendly TK. Both tanks fighting it out. Mono a mano again. Oh my god, and Wonka will get that kill. Wonka on the box saves him from the explosion from the damage. Three flags, unless I bring up the UI again so everybody can see where the flags are. It'd be brilliant if I kept that up most of the time, but you know, the alt key. I have a trigger happy trigger finger. Uh, I love pressing buttons. Kill onto Johnny as, he, as that blows up. Oldies losing the market. Who is here? One, two, three players. The APC will go down. Tank coming off the main road as well. Three AT as well. Marcos jumps off. The hotel flag is recaptured for Mix. Blaine will get the kill onto Elofont. He will. No, Savaros is going to TK him. Respawn though. Revive. Marcos up on the high ground. Still the squad leader. Mix. Is the market in trouble? Wonka in the T90 and the 50 cal gunner seat protecting the market flag. As the artillery falls, no damage so far. Hotel flag recaptured for oldies. M gonna trade with the toe once again. How I how my, I've oft repeated how much damage toes do in this game. Practically a one-shot kill against the tank as he hit the sweet spot. Oldies. Losing the the uh, the square flag as Mix has two players on it. Pablo Franco gonna j go into the golf the gopher hole, and that'll be a recap. No trade in the bleed at all, but good pressure applied by Mix right now. Peaky, a lot of AT. I think they've decided that they're gonna play a lot of AT this round. It's raw from Squid from downtown gets the kill on Atomics. APC on the main road. Kill feed starting to pick up for uh, Mix. Squid with 25 kills, the kill leader of the round. Blaine with 18. Elephant leading the charge for Oldies with 20. Taking a look at the kills. Wonka uh, in the tanks. Uh, 18 and 2 against M's. 15 for 5.
Hank and APC going down the main road together. Ooh, Wonka. Got pushed at low health. As M got a side shot. Oldie's gonna push the square again. Blaine in the alleyway. Elephant the only one on flag. Johnny potentially with a spawn camp onto Elton and he will... Yeah, that'll happen. Flag halfway down. I'm kind of curious as to where the majority of mix is right now. Square is gonna go the way of Oldie's. Repair the tank a little bit as M pushing that high ground, that ever so dangerous high ground above the market. Wonka gonna get chased from behind. Here comes M. Rear shot, gonna connect. Maybe? Wonka might be in trouble. Well, the second one will definitely hit. Yeah, M hit that rear shot for sure. Potential tank steal. M says, I want flag. What are you doing? Oh my god, he's just gonna be the squad leader. He, somebody gets on the toe, it's Blaine. M bails out, they're on flag. Three on flag right now for oldies and they get wiped immediately by Peaky and Blaine. Artillery from Asante as a defensive arty. Just in case the infantry did not make it out, but only one TK. Oldies with the follow-up artillery to be sure. Just hell, there was a lot of people there. Mixed with a counterplay to the ho to the, to the, to the, to the, to the market flag. Looking like it's going to get shut down by the four players of Mix. Although Pablo Franco and Wonka, I mean, they just wiped that. Wonka uh, got the double kill on the on Elephant and Bacane on the staircase. And what is going on on the map right now? Okay. Tank on the high ground. Santi. It's gonna go upstairs. Blaine looking for Comix. Ward with the raid. Hello. What's up, Risky? Welcome everybody from War Extreme. That game must be over already. Hopefully you guys had a good match. Med with the artillery it hits Blaine. Elophant on the market flag. Now two. Market flag for Mix with four player on it. Midway down. Squid with an with a Erix. Tank just barrels in to try to hold it. There's not enough. Savaros will get himself killed. The flag is gonna go gray. There's not enough uh, Mix players here to stop it. Five on flag. Santi last alive. That's it. Marcos, the last alive for oldies. Not for oldies, for mix. Two minutes left in the round. Okay, this is huge. Where is Marcos? Where's Marcos? Marcos! In the back of the freaking map! In a Vodnik! Pickets are 89. Oh no, he died! Oh, if he would have just stayed alive. For another minute and a half, they would have won the round. Or won the map. But. Wow. Marcos with a good attempt. But Oldies will take round number two, 88 tickets to zero with a cap out. This means that Oldies will take map number one, strike a car can, by 16 tickets total. So Oldies have won. Map number one. That was a very, very good round of Strike at Carcand. And it doesn't matter anyway, because I think we are live. 
on the final round. Was four the last time there was a spectator mode? Nope, we have five. One and five had spectator mode. Good luck, have fun being called as we're on Fushi Pass between Oldies and Mix. Map number two, Oldies came away from the victor, uh, from victor with victory on a strike at Karkin by a me measly 26 tickets. Fushi Pass is, of course, the three-flag map. Each team gets uh, two light transports, one tank, one APC, and it's a three-flag map, so we're expecting a fast-paced, potentially all-cap round as Oldies and Mix gonna barrel into the middle flag right super quick. Hand grenades go up like crazy. Elo Font with three grenade kills right off the bat. Oldies on flag. Flag is about a quarter of the way up right now. Peaky's still alive. The majority of Mix just already wiped out by hand grenades. Savaros chives right in. Peaky gets revived. That'll be the squad leader back up. And the flag of the island, Center Island, will go up for Mix right off the bat. Blaine on flag. Squid potentially going to get on flag. Helton there as well. Artillery going to land immediately. Here we comes the first artillery of the round. Oldie's going to drop it right on top of Blaine, and it's going to be a big one. The cane for Oldie's. I'll hold that flag just fine. M in the tank for Oldies, getting artilleried, and he'll be just fine. Oldies, squad bomb onto the west mine entrance already. Johnny and Savaros are there. Sraw from the top of the pipeline from Santi who killed Johnny. Savaros is here alone. That'll be wiped out just fine. Meanwhile, at the east mine entrance, the action continues. As the APC will miss the toe onto M in the tank. But look at Marcos and Squid up on the rooftop of the top of the mine. They are up there. I'm really surprised that that rocket didn't try to hit the tank. That was a big misplay, whoever had the AT up there. Whether it was Squid or Marcos, that was that that rocket should have absolutely gone the way of the tank. You needed to help the APC at that point in time. Back to the middle. Artillery falling again. As Elton gonna dive towards the island. Med with a crazy artillery actually lands at the very front of the office and hits the people inside. A massive rarity on this sort on this map. Back onto the flag is Squid. Johnny nearby in the uh, between the buildings, between the offices. Squid, 8k47 kill on the Johnny. Flag halfway down. APC on the high ground trying to take shot, pot shots at Blaine. Nubalot will get one kill. Nubalot will almost get... Uh, he's not going to fire anymore, but the flag will go gray. Action, again, all over the place. As the squad leader from Oldie is going to push West, Mi West, West Mine entrance. As uh, that's the uh, Sean Connery version. That are pushing the West Mine entrance. Uh, M will get the kill onto Squid and Blaine, cleaning up the center island, center island. Back to the left side of the map. Artillery will fall from Santi. Knock out Johnny. Pablo Franco's on fire. Savaros is a potential tank steal. He didn't see it in time. Elton will grab it. And the squad leader is wiped. Action all over the place. <sighs> and with that, though, uh, that will be the end of the push. As uh, Marcos will be the farthest person out on the map right now. For Mix. And he looks like he is just going to dive directly into the flag and right into a DPV waiting. Elton's still there. He's going to get, not Srod, but just chased down by three. Peaky now going to dive through the center as well. As M and the uh, and Johnny. Ooh, APC. Lands the toe onto M. M's going to go back to a supply crate. He's very, very low. Back in the main. 
Elton's still alive, but Mix, unfortunately, well, it looks like the APC did die. Noob a lot bailed out in time. Elton, with a shot there. Nubalat going to go back for the respawning APC any second. Pressure being applied to Mix as they've lost any uh, map cohesion. Sraw to the back of Pablo Franco will miss. The action has died down briefly. Nubalat going to get a new APC. The Nick, the moment before this APC, the, the Mix APC rolls up, they're going to trade out some toes. Pablo, both of them are going to connect, and both will crash into each other for a double explosion. Nobody bailed out on top of them either. This is a very strange uh, artillery coming in from Med preemptively. Island now. Marcos is there, waiting for the squad leader pretend, uh, jump. Comix, Johnny, pushing into the West Mine entrance flag. Should be, uh, as they go up against the tank, this should be fine. FAV on the right side. From Elofont gets popped by Wonka as Wonka will hold the flag pretty much on his own. Center Island flag being now the new, the focus back into the round. Blah, the focus of the round again. Elton on flag. Tomix on Bacane there. Marcos out in the... Oh my god, they're on the roof. I was wondering where the hell they were. Unfortunately, that was just not the greatest uh, spawn point. Mick's gonna just get wiped. Six and a half minutes into round number one on Fushi Pass. Oldies lead by about 30 tickets or so. Squid, Squid gets rod. Wonka eats a tank shell as they try to push back into the island. No other... Uh, push north along the bridge, along the other side of the river. From Mix. Artillery will land from Oldies. It's just gonna be a TK on the Johnny, but Kane will, uh, will kill Squid. Uh, push. I thought I saw push from Mix here. Looks like maybe he got killed. Oh no. Wonka in trouble. Two above him. Squid will respawn. McCain there. Tavaro's looking for the good good shot. Tomix will miss the Sron to Squid. Wonka in some serious trouble. And he really can't back up either. Now, well, another shot. That'll be the end of uh, the tank. <laughs> kind of surprised he even tried to bail on that. Oh, look at how good this artillery was. Med paying some great attention. The moment that jeep arrived, that artillery was there. This flag might go gray in time, but... Med with a TK and the Savaros. Center Island will go gray. So far, an unlucky artillery. RNGesus on the fav on the side of Mix for, for that moment. Get the flag. Elton, Elton, get it. They got it. And now comes the uh, Santi artillery, even though he TK'd Elton, he saved, uh, got, saved the flag, killed Tomix. Oldies with an APC on the back hill side, just above the main, Johnny. Oh god, they're all over the place. Squid, just throw a grenade, damn it. Come on, you can do it, there's three on flag. Oh my god, they're gonna recap this so quickly. There's just not enough players from Mix on the flag. Oh, Peaky and Marcos. They say, screw the center island. We're going up to the main. Med in the watchtower. Uh, gets rocketed. Lane on the reload, looking for the shot into M, and he gets it. Squid right behind him. Two ATs against this tank should be a win for the ATs. One more will do it. Oh, Med killed him. Somehow with the art with the saving grace artillery. Nubalot. We got Squid. Now the extra M16 effort will do it. Hiki's still alive. So, the bleed of Battlefield 2 might be slow, but... Uh, oldies have had this center island almost the whole game, and finally, you know, 10 minutes into the round, 
it's starting to really show its effectiveness as we are... Oldies are about a 40 ticket advantage. Pablo Franco will drop. Squid will kill. Elton will die on top of the tow turret. Squid with the potential to steal the APC, but Emma's watching it. Peaky around the corner. Don't die, Peaky. You, you are the squad leader. Squid going for flag. Squid on flag. Tomix will respawn in time along with Elofont. Peaky now going to get taken out by the tank. Squid 1v5 in the flag radius. Do I have no chance. And where is the follow-up to the island? It's not there. No follow-up from Oldies. There it is. It's just really late. Meanwhile, Oldies also have a push going around to the main again. <laughs> Oldies playing this map much better right now than Mixes. Med doing an excellent job with the preemptive artillery strikes. Calling those out. Practically to the moment that the, uh, anybody from Mix arrives. Med is doing a fantastic job. Elton on flag. Squid nearby. We'll get the kill onto Savaros. Misses the that dodges the straw. Both tanks on each side of the river. Both tanks also very weak. An extra shot will kill him. Flag will finally go gray. Oldies pushing the West Mine entrance. Nobody else there to respond. The APC is here. Pablo Franco will kill uh, Savaros. Revives go out. Artillery from Mix will kill Tomix, and that saves the flag. And all be damned. Suddenly it's Mix in control of the round. Two flags to one. Oldies are not done yet, though. Pablo Franco is here. We'll find a double kill, including a shotgun kill. And that'll wipe out Oldies, or on uh, the West Mine entrance. Tomix. Look at the rotations from Oldies. They got wiped on one flag, and suddenly they're back on the island. Uh, this is a misplay. Mix had a few people trying to push the East Mine entrance, but. They should have been conserved with the center island. They just need a bleed. They need to earn some tickets back. Going for this uh, East Mine Entrance cap, I think, is really hurting them. This is what makes Fushi such a good map. Because you get this rotation between, you know, the East and West Mine Entrance plus the center island. And you need to decide whether or not you want to dive for that cap out. Or just go for that bleed and, and do your best and get an advantage. Marcos, shot off the top of the roof by M. Wonka's in the tank. Oldies have uh, definite control of the island. There is another push to the top as uh, Blaine bails out of the APC. Shot into the APC of Nubalot. The artillery will land from Mix. Mix needs to make something happen, because if you look down the, the bottom of the screen here, you'll, you'll see this massive push <coughs> from Oldies into the West Mine entrance. APC. If Nubalot gets hit, Pablo Franco looking for the dive. The toe shot will go out. That'll connect on Nubalot. Wonka is in the main. Trying to defend against this massive Oldies push. Pablo and Elton are here. One shot in. Here. Oh my god. Are we going to have a base trade scenario? The tank just went down as well. Potential APC steal any second. If I'm, by the way, I'm watching the mini map right now to, to figure out what's going on at the West Mine entrance. Wonka is in the tank, and it looks like they're doing a good job at holding off oldies in the West Mine entrance. Meanwhile, the APC has been stolen. Blaine has stolen that. The tank is down as well. Potentially, there's an AP. There's a potentially a tank steal as well. They need to get med. Bails out. Does not bail out of the APC. Not made. Possible mistake. Squid. One v one against Elofont. One v two. One v three now. As Squid will go down. Pablo Franco will steal the Abrams. Big play. As long as he can get it out. Which doesn't look like it. He's being chased down by a lot. Straw to the back of the tank. Pablo Franco will go down. The push will fail once again. The gamble to throw 
everything you possibly can at the East Mine entrance doesn't pay off in the long run because you've just been bleeding the whole time. Back to the middle, the rotation happens. Sraw from McCain and a squid. And a nice artillery once again from Med. Flane is on flag. And it's halfway down. And it will be grade. Stopping the bleed, but there's only five minutes remaining in round number one of Pushy past Elton on flag radius. Goes to the spot dead on where M is waiting and watching. So M with a triple kill. M already at 20 kills, three deaths. Wonka, 25 kills, five deaths. Both of these are the tankers. <coughs> Both of them playing tremendously. 64 uh, ticket difference between the two teams right now with the Oles in the lead. Squid getting killed by M. Defending this flag so well. Med with another preemptive artillery, although this time it's going to do more damage to uh, his own team. The revives take place. Peaky still alive as the squad leader inside the office. on flag. Oldie's likely to recap this. Squid with... Oh my god, M just got another double kill. That's so crazy. He's such a good tanker. On loan from existence, by the way. This round. This match. And it looks, based on the amount of uh, fire here, that Mix will win the office fight. There is a Mix push to the... To the Op of the refinery from Marcos being a backup. Elephant gonna dag. Oh, yeah, you better grab that APC real quick. Med with another artillery. Here it comes. Just like last time. The moment Mix gets on flag, the, uh, the artillery lit comes in. This time it'll hit Blaine. Squid with his head in the wall trying to dodge the artillery strike, and he will. Elton and Peaky. Will get on flag this time. With no tank there, they need to grab it as fast as possible. Two and a half minutes left in the round. There is no chance uh, for a win here, short of a cap out. This bleed is not going to be fast enough. The best you can hope for is maybe holding this two flag advantage. Uh, and maybe getting, uh, whittling down oldies down to like 60 tickets in a few minutes. But that's a, even that's a hard... Hard thing to do. Jeep's gonna go far south. That'll be a nice distraction. APC pushing up Pablo Franco in the back of the map. Oh, a cane. I love this positioning. The Jeep drops on top of it. I love it. What a. Med is such a troll. Not only is it blocking damage, but if it would have, like, exploded next to uh, the APC, it actually would have caused damage. Or it could have landed on the box and gotten the box kill. West Mine entrance is in some serious trouble. Three players from uh, Oldies on flag. Sra from the from the from the balcony from Santi not going to be enough. It's a cap. Wonka is going to show up along with Marcos, but this will stop the bleed. At least even temporarily. Now, if I was Oldies, I'd just barrel my way into the island. This is going to take quite a bit to get to, uh... Take a while to recapture. And you can see M pushing his way forward towards it. APC crossing the river to even help delay. I'm not even sure I would have suicided out there, by the way. Squid, Blaine, they captured... They recaptured the West Mine entrance and then they suicided in order to redeploy at the, uh, island. I'm not even sure that was necessary. Marcos on the flag. Blaine on the flag. Preemptive artillery from Med just in the nick of time. One artillery will hit Marcos. Elofont and Blaine fighting under the fire. The artillery will land. Bleed. 
<laughs> still against the uh, oldies, but it's just not going to be enough. The whittle the bleeds so slow. But it it's a double-edged sword. I mean, on one hand, it's like, it helps the games last a little lot longer, and I like that. If you're pubbing the games, it's probably a good story. You know, if you're in a base camp and there's 400 tickets remaining, that's just going to take you 20 minutes. That'll be the end of round number one. The car slams into the waterfall. And Oldies will take victory, 73-17, to 17 on Fuji, round one of Fushi Pass. So, if my math is correct, that's 20 tickets plus, uh, I mean, look, first of all, let's look at the scores. M with 26 kills, 27 kills for Wonka. Uh, Elo fought leading Oldie's kill, uh, infantry ground game with 13 kills. M, I think M just carried that game. Look at, I mean, let's look at the kill disparity. Nobody dropped anything more than 13 kills for infantry. Like... Squid got like 26 or 25 kills. That's crazy on his own. It was just the coordinated effort there that just did not work in the favor of Mix. 56? Yeah, that was a 56 plus 26. And it says 82. Am I, am I right there? So 82 is the is the magic number for for oldies. There you go. Look at that. I did that I did that in my head before uh, you guys even typed it out. Look at that. Basic elementary math for you. So there you have it. If oldies can get a uh, mix under 83 tickets, 82 tickets, they will immediately win. They will have won the map and the match. Hey, okay, they will have won the match, not the map. They just need a, they need 56 to uh, win the map. Restart live, being called by Med. And here we go. The waterfall ASMR. 17 thick sickets, sickets, uh, seconds on the clock. I am following the US side again. This time we have Mix on the US side, Oldies on the West Mine entrance, China side. 56 tickets. Decide the map win. 82 tickets will decide the match win. Tickets count. Tickets matter. Mix with a very, very good dive. And good spawn into uh, the center island flag. Elofont, Old Johnny, Tomix, Savaros. They're all going to spawn in, in a little bit later. Squid will draw first blood against Tomix. The tank, Wonka, could definitely push up a little bit farther, even though he did get a double kill already. He's a little he's a little worried of the uh, the tank pushing up, but shit, I would just go for it. I, I If I was Wonka, I would have just dived straight here, looked left, gotten the kills, and died. Because he died anyway against them. At least this way, you would have uh, cleared the team. Because the first thing a team on the uh, China side always does is they always either go inside or they hang behind this wall. And I would take that gamble any day. Santi with an artillery will find a double kill on the Elephant and Tomix. I don't think he's going to hit... Oh my god, both of those would have been perfect if that was... If, if they were actually waiting above. East Mine entrance is clear. Blaine and Squid will be the only ones... Oh, I guess Elton will spawn as well. The flag will go gray. A double hand grenade from Elton will recapture the flag. And that'll put Mix... With a two flag lead. With no artillery from Med to counter. Jeep coming in behind. A straw from the rooftop from Santi will miss. 
Marcos against McCain will lose. Along with Zavaros, the APC is dead. That's a big that's that's a big loss right now for Mix. Elton was, has respawned. Now the the big thing you want need to watch in your mini map is not this necessary it's not necessarily this play of where thing where where players from uh, Mix are. Santi with a triple TK finds McCain, but oh my god, he got four four TKs. What I was going to say was you need to watch what Oldies is doing. They're doing exactly what I thought. They're on the little flag already. Good God, that was brutal. Your t uh, the APC will die. It won't be stolen. M being pressured by the tank on the high ground. Amazingly, this flag has not been grayed yet. M will go down to the straw of Peaky. If I was... Yeah, Wonka needs to hit this shot. Hit the shot. Hit the shot. Hit the wall. No, no low wall. How did you not see him there? Low wall. Thank you. Holy shit. <laughs> As a caster, sometimes it's brutal. As a tanker, it's even more brutal. Three kills, baby. Give me them. Oldies now barreling back into the East Mine entrance. Four players. The artillery, uh, for, uh, for, for Mix is late. It's not here. And it's high. The flag is going to go gray. Arti what the shit just happened? C4 went off, plus the artillery got a triple kill. Tomix, Oldies, and Elephant just died. APC is still on the flag. The flag is gray. Nobody... Uh, only Bacane is left alive in the refinery. I don't even know what's happening anymore. The flag went gray, but maybe, maybe, maybe they can respawn in time? I don't know. Well, Bacane got KK'd by Tomek somehow. <laughs> okay. All these are still in the flag, or in, in, around the East Mine entrance. The APC should be respawning any second. Blaine is still here. Tomix is going to get the steal. And he revives Johnny. Big play for oldies. And oldies are currently on the center island. One player there. Grang the flag. Nobody... Okay, we do have a respawn in for Mix, but can he do it? M is watching on the high ground. And an artillery will fall. Peaky with a 203 will stop the uh, capture of the center island. Lead still maintained as Wonka goes down for uh, for Mix. Mix desperately hanging on in the refinery right now. The APC will show up again for oldies. Elton will get a kill into Savaros, and I think that will finally clear out the infantry, but the APC is back. I love Fushi Pass, and I love Competitive Battlefield 2. It's the best thing ever. If only I had a first-person uh, camera view in spectator mode. Those That'd be the best thing ever. M currently in front of the flag radius. Gets eats two straws. Savaro's still alive. Can he kill Squid now? It doesn't even matter. M is dead. Blaine's dead. Or Blaine gets the kill. Squid gets TK'd. Mix will hold the center flag. APC pushing in from Oldies to the north. Moment of respite. Both teams repositioning. Moment of respite for the caster, too. Tomix pushing in to the center island. Peaky as squad leader getting around to the east, to the uh, east west mine entrance. Pablo Franco with a toe gets the shot onto the APC, and it's a triple kill. Counterplay as the artillery will land. Tomix going to get in flag radius for oldies. Artillery will land. This time, it's a damn good one. Santi with an accidental TK. Tomix will die in flag radius, so that's a win. Elton respawns in time. Savaros 
Wonka now in the prime position, able to defend the flag. But Kane on the rooftop as squad leader. Tank and APC rolling out of the main. Pelmix still alive up there. And Bacane back up as squad lead again. Wonka trying to get some... Repairs on the tank. <laughs> There's Nubalot in the APC. Eating straws from the top from uh, Santi up in the, the crow's nest. What a great position up here for the for the commander. That'll connect, plus the tank. Oh, Wonka with a double kill. Savaros barely hanging on. And artillery going off. Police pushing in. So far, this has been a great round for Mix as they've held the center island a long time. Blaine will get the kill onto M and suicide out, waiting for a respawn. I think this respawn is going to go on the jeep that's barreling its way towards the uh, west mine entrance. Marcos goes over the ramp like a trickster. However, the FAV will kill, get him killed. That'll do enough damage. My leg is shaking like crazy. This is such a good match. Remember, the ticket count matters. The longer that bleed lasts against oldies. On this last round. Is uh, so important. Tomix. Johnny pushing towards Center Island. Blaine will miss the Sraw. But he'll get Tomix anyway. Johnny will probably will get the revive. Will get the revive. Yes, he will. Elton shooting at Johnny. Artillery looking for the tank. Doesn't find it. Elton on flag. Peaky. Or... McCain pushing forward from the west. There's no APC here. There's nobody in the refinery. McCain has his own little squad bomb coming in. West of the tank. Johnny. McCain. Savaros. Can Sav uh, Wonka so far... Okay, get, gets the kill on Savaros. I want to know what's going on south. The tank. M on fire. Peaky with a good straw. Can you get a second? Lane from behind. M is toasted on that hill. Huge squad bomb in the west mine entrance again. East, east mine entrance again. Directions. They're hard. Survivor learned that from, from me yesterday. Kept misculling left and right over and over. Infantry in the main. The tank is currently down. This could be a tank steal for oldies. That would be a huge win for them. Are they going to go for the flag or the tank steal? Lane there. Bacane misses the tank. And they're wiped. Oldies with another huge squad bomb pushing the right side. That far north again. Squid potentially on the toe. S turns it around. Oh, look at Nubalot. Already knows. He knows he's on the toe. Oh god, the Savaros is on the high ground. This could be an uh, this could be an APC steal. Toe! Hits the tank and gets the kill. Side shot on the Abrams, full damage. Plus a Sraw for, for good measure. Elephant, Tomix, and Savaros. One of them is going to wait for the APC, and it's going to be Tomix. Meanwhile, at the East Mine entrance, West Mine entrance, god damn it, I did it again. Squid, Elton, Blaine, they're here. This flag is going to go gray in a second. And it does go gray. That is a cap out right now for Mix, unless the East Mine entrance falls. That flag is gray. A tank has been stolen. Savaros. Blaine, but Kane, is there enough? I don't think there is. Revives go out. Savaros is there. Blaine gets a knife kill on, on, on Bacane. Savaros is still alive, plus the APC. Revive again. No effing way. All these are still alive.
Marcos shows up with a jeep. The squad bomb is here. Grenades go out. The tank is now stolen. Savaros is here. Oldies are not out with three infantry left alive. They recap the flag and are able to respawn. Holy crap. <laughs> There's a base trade situation. <laughs> and Mixer just diving into the flag like there's nobody left alive, but there's plenty now that oldies have it. Ticket count 109 to 82 with seven and a half minutes remaining, but there's still the bleed. Okay. Well, now that we have a base trade scenario going, each team does get a new respective APC and tank. <sighs> High ground advantage now for the China side. Now starting from the US base. Johnny. Coming down the hill. Artillery will land. Now now comes the now comes the uh, the crazy part. Each team needs to destroy the other team's assets. There should no longer be artillery on the map or commander scans or UAVs. That is absolutely critical. Oldies. Barreling in to the island. Mix is not here to be found. Is nowhere to be found. Squid will dive down. Peaky tries to throw a hand grenade. It doesn't work because they're in their heads in the wall. Artillery. Okay. They've got the flag. Artillery going to land from Mix. That could be a TK. This is just the craziest round. You love to see it. Savaros gonna blow up the uh, the mix artillery piece. Kaboom, that's gone. Double jeeps going past the island for oldies. They're gonna barrel into the APC. Uh, but Kane will probably go down in a second. Nope, he's gonna make it all the way through. Marcos is there to help defend the flag. Elephant Bacane pushing in. Elephant will die first. Double APC battle. The oldies APC will become will be victorious. As oldies gonna try to rush into their own their old main. Another knife kill from Blaine. That's I think that's two for him this round. And and oldies will be, their push will be shut down. Mix will hold the west mine. What else is going on? McCain now taking out the Commander Sat Scan trailer. Or is it the Sat Scan? So that's the artillery piece dead. Now that they just need to kill the uh, UAV. Oldies. To the center island. Oh, uh, by the way, we are uh, we are at 87 tickets here. Uh, we're getting really, really close to that match point and. Without a cap out in like the next minute here, I don't think it's going to happen. I think the mix victory came and went with that incredible defense and survival recap on the East Mine entrance. I think that was it. That would that that should have won mix the game, and Oldies just hung on for dear life. At this point, with 83 tickets left for old, for uh, Mix, uh, they are now fighting for the map win and not the match win. But damn, that was... What is going on over here? Artillery on nothing, preemptive. 40-ish, well, 30-ish ticket lead, 30-plus ticket lead for Mix right now. Oldies are doing some great damage in the kill feed. Here comes Oldies. To the island. M in the proper tank spot. APC on the main road. Elephant and Savaros. Oh, Johnny just going up this that middle hill. That is dangerous. Two on flag. Three on flag. Four on flag. The APC will go down. The artillery will land. But it's only one piece because the other one's dead. 
and it hits the tank from uh, from Med. Squid with an MP5, a straw, and a knife kill gets all three in a row because all three had their heads in the wall and didn't see a damn thing coming because they were because they were hiding from the artillery. Squid MVP. Marcos with another gray. Oh, oldies. The West Mine entrance fell. Another artillery. I've lost track of which team is which. There's been too many base traits. Double artillery on the East Mine entrance. Which team am I tracking? AR-15 on the U.S. side. Good God. AR-15 might actually get their main base back and hold. AR-15 have reclaimed the East Mine entrance. Oldies are not done with it yet, and AR-15 is pushing into the main. Could this be the second cap out? Squid on flag along with Elton. Is this it? The flag nearly gone. Artillery landing. The flag goes gray, that's the cap. And all of Oldies is dead this time. There will be no second miracle for Oldies. And that will be the round and the map and the match. Mix will take the map barely by like 14 tickets, but the match will go to Oldies. What an incredible match. M21 for 8. Squid with... Oh, how many knife kills did Blaine and Squid have? 27 kills. Squid MVP. Incredible match. That one's going up on the YouTube channel. Once again, Mix. Barely lose map number 1 by... What? 26 tickets? And they take map number two, but not by enough. Oldies take the match, two points to one.